As Scott and Jessica Walker settled into their favorite restaurant, what seemed like a routine family outing took a chilling turn. What started as a joyful introduction of their newborn to the world quickly spiraled into an urgent struggle. The peaceful lunch transformed into chaos and desperation, leaving them grappling with a mystery no parenting guide had prepared them for. Stick around to find out how a simple outing turned into a dramatic ordeal and the shocking discovery that could change how you approach even the most ordinary moments with your children. Don't miss how this story unfolds. Scott and Jessica Walker were overjoyed at the arrival of their adorable little girl, Molly. However, Molly was born slightly ahead of schedule and required an extended stay in the hospital for three weeks before being discharged. Despite her early arrival, she was a completely ordinary little bundle of joy, and her parents couldn't have asked for anything more. The family already had a two-year-old daughter at home who had also arrived early. Given their previous experience, they felt more assured and prepared to relish the experience of being second-time parents. Despite the challenges, adapting to the presence of a new child in their modest Wichita, Kansas home was both thrilling and tiring. The couple often found themselves getting less rest than they were accustomed to. Lack of sleep can lead parents to either underreact or overreact, depending on their temperament and state of mind. Scott and Jessica alternated in waking up at night, and when little Molly called for their attention, they lovingly obliged. After all, they were prepared for the initial challenging months of their baby girl's life. In addition to taking care of Molly, they also had their two-year-old daughter to attend to. The task for the parents was to carefully balance their attention toward Molly while still ensuring their older daughter felt valued and stable. Bridging the gap between the two siblings required tremendous wisdom and patience. However, that wasn't the only challenging task they faced. Maintaining a strong bond between themselves was an agreement Scott and Jessica had come to before Molly's arrival. While Molly had claimed a special spot in both their hearts, the couple committed to making time to nurture their relationship rather than simply becoming parents to Molly and her sister. They pledged to engage in enjoyable activities together and not fall into the routine of merely getting by. As Molly began to sleep for longer durations, it was time for Scott and Jessica to indulge in some recreation. They decided to embark on a little outing. Scott suggested that they go out and enjoy a meal somewhere outside their home. They were both excited, not just for the delicious food, but also for the chance to introduce their adorable daughter to the world. Given that it was a mild day, they opted for a lunch outing to avoid the cool evening air, which might not agree with baby Molly's health. At 19 weeks old, her parents were confident that she would sleep through the initial hours of the outing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as anticipated. Had unseen forces not played their part and the issue gone unnoticed, the result could have been unthinkable. No parenting book had prepared this family for what was about to transpire. Usually, Molly's discomfort was quickly recognized by either her mom or dad. They could swiftly figure out the cause of their daughter's distress, remedy it, and calm her tears. A warm bottle or a fresh diaper typically did the trick. Sometimes her cramps would provoke tears, but gentle rhythmic backpats would soothe her back to sleep. But that day was unlike any other. Shortly after the family settled into the eatery, Molly began to act cranky. Her cries simply would not stop. Since she was at the typical teething age, her parents wondered if her first baby tooth had chosen this day, their first family outing, to emerge. What intensified their distress was being in a public setting feeling the burn of strangers' gazes and whispers behind shielded hands. The anxiety within Scott and Jessica escalated. They had already placed an order for their meal, but the wait felt endless. They took turns trying to soothe their upset daughter, but nothing seemed to work. There's a type of cry parents dread, more intense, like a scream that pierces the heart. Molly's cries indicated pain and discomfort, and the mystery of her distress left her parents feeling helpless and overwhelmed. At the same time, their older daughter also yearned for their attention and needed help with her meal. As the tension mounted, she too became unsettled. She didn't understand why she couldn't have the spotlight, adding to her parents' growing sense of unease. Finally, without a spoken word between them, Scott and Jessica abandoned their dinner and decided to head home at once. Jessica, having completed her paramedic training, reassured Scott that she would figure out what was wrong. Jessica had always been competent and inventive, and her medical training made Scott trust that their daughters were in safe hands. 
As they drove home, Jessica suspected that Molly had developed a fever. She removed Molly's onesie to help lower her body temperature. Though the distance to their home was short, the drive seemed endless to the anxious parents. Immediately upon arriving, Scott rushed to the medical kit to find something to lower Molly's fever. Since Molly was too young for regular medicine, Jessica instructed Scott to use a cold pack to further lower her temperature. However, Molly's body didn't respond as expected. It was then that Jessica noticed Molly's tiny socks still on her feet. Since heat often dissipates through the feet, the socks should have been the first thing they removed. Amidst the chaos, this simple trick had slipped their minds. Upon removing the socks, Jessica noticed that Molly's feet were abnormally red. She realized that the socks had caused the body's heat to increase. Jessica then noticed one of Molly's toes appeared bloated. She quickly directed Scott to fetch tweezers, scissors, and a magnifying glass. When Scott returned with the items, they both examined Molly's toe through the lens. What they saw made them both inhale sharply in surprise. A single hair had somehow wrapped itself around Molly's tiny toe, tightening so much that it had cut into her skin. The embedded hair had disrupted the blood circulation, causing Molly immense pain and fever. Jessica, with her paramedic training, acted quickly. She carefully used the tweezers and scissors to snip the hair off the toe. As soon as it was done, Molly shuddered, then let out a final cry before calming down. It took about 45 minutes for the swelling to subside. Had they not acted swiftly, the situation could have worsened, potentially leading to permanent damage to the toe or even amputation. Once calmness returned to their lives, Scott asked Jessica if she had ever seen something like this during her nursing career. Jessica explained that while it wasn't unheard of, it was still a rare and alarming occurrence. They later learned that this condition was known as a hair tourniquet. It happens when a hair wraps around a digit, often left behind by adults or pets. If the hair goes undetected, it can cut into the tender flesh of infants, causing pain and even more severe damage. After the ordeal, Scott shared their story on Facebook, hoping to raise awareness among other parents. His post went viral, receiving over 50,000 likes and being shared more than 35,000 times. Scott concluded, As caretakers, our responsibility toward children is absolute. Even if we love them deeply, we might miss the smallest details. From now on, even a single hair on my children's clothes will catch my attention. We learned a tough lesson that night. That evening, Jessica and Scott closely monitored Molly, who slept soundly and woke up refreshed, ready for another joyful day. They were both grateful for having averted a potentially disastrous situation and looked forward to more serene family outings in the future. What a spine-chilling account. Have you ever found it important to inspect your infant's socks for stray hairs? If you share your home with pets, are you extra vigilant about preventing their hair from landing on your child's clothing? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video.